This video explains the stock score window and you get to it up here stock score uh, stock scores and you click that and this will pop up now I've already pushed start and analyzed uh, these particular symbols but stock score will use all the symbols and your core specials and watch list uh, in the analysis so if you don't want to include all of them then just uh, you know uh, work the watch list and remove what you don't want paste in what you do want and uh, you know you should have all your symbols and text files so that's a real easy thing to do but this is the window that pops up and you can sort on any column and we'll explain what the different things are uh, the first one is technical score and that uses uh, seven or eight different technical indicators uh, to give you a raw score a raw technical score on any symbol and the scores have uh, really no range of values uh, every once in a while you see something with a, a swing score of 300 or whatever and that will occur after an acquisition or something uh, but basically they're white if they're bullish and uh, rose colored background if they're bearish and these are absolute numbers they're not relative to anything else so uh, a 2 is more bullish than a 1, an 8 more than a 6, uh, etc. Uh, the swing score uh, evaluates short-term momentum and this is on an absolute range. This goes from plus 10 to minus 10 and again the bullish uh, swing scores are in white, white background and the bearish with negative numbers have the rose colored background the relative 1% return us is an innocuous little thing but it's really actually pretty useful and this compares the return of the symbol against a theoretical 1% uh, instrument a theoretical instrument returning 1% annually and you'll find that the things or the symbols that have uh, positive returns have been bullish for months usually and the ones with negative returns have been very bearish this this is a, this is a fairly useful uh, column uh, the last price is simply the last uh, price uh, the trend filter is similar well I'll show you the trend filter we'll use a uh, spy uh, the trend filter is the uh, just literal representation of the trend filter uh, on the market location page and that's a 144, 55, a 21 and a 5 EMA and it'll measure the relationships of all of those uh, different moving averages uh, and give you a score bullish bearish or mix. Uh, the CCI status uh, is simply a reflection of the current state of the uh, commodity, commodity channel index and whether it's in an overbought state or an oversold state. And the punching power, the punching power is the ATR, uh, the uh, average true range, divided by the closing price. And what this gives you is exactly what the name implies, punching power. Like XIV, even though it's an $81 stock, tends to move in percentages uh, pretty high percentages of its average true range so again the name implies exactly what you get the uh, symbols with the higher punching power will move more than the uh, symbols with the lower numbers so usually stocks with very high uh, prices or prices over 200 have smaller uh, punching power scores uh, because they don't move as much of a percentage although they can still move a couple points but the real beauties uh, in here are if you want to trade low price stocks a lot of them have good punching power like Chesapeake Energy uh, you know that's a good trader 
uh, because it moves a lot relative to its price which is currently under four dollars and the name obviously is just the name of the stock now you can get different charts uh, by clicking on a symbol in the left column and you can get either a daily or a 65 minute chart and uh, you can pick the TO chart style that's the trading fives oscillator chart and that's the daily version and my preference is I choose uh, E for the elder bars and click the button and a daily trading fives oscillator chart will spring up and you know you can use this to do an evaluation check the conditions if any events have occurred uh, for that symbol and if you see something that you want to pursue further in a lower time frame like the 65 minute is my trading chart and I use Heike and Ashy candles uh, with the 65 minute change the uh, buttons and click on the symbol and you'll get a 65 minute Heike and Ashy chart uh, which then you can then evaluate based on uh, you know the, Hich the, Hich the Ichimoku uh, method but this is really useful uh, you can run it a couple times a day because it'll update during the day and all in all I mean it's a handy way to look at a lot of symbols at one time like I'll often uh, just load all the dailies and then pick through them well I'll just give you an example of that we got another minute or so you know load up you know three four five ten look at them for the uh, you know conditions and events and if I don't see anything happening just close it and keep going down the list and save the ones that I want to investigate further and then pop up 65 minute uh, trading charts for those so you can go through a lot of symbols uh, fairly quickly to try and find the things that you might be interested in in trading for that day or or setting up for the uh, week ahead so that's the quick explanation of the stock score uh, hope you found it useful